project management tools. I don't know what it is, but I struggle with these. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Michelle. I release weekly videos on marketing websites and all things design. Today, I wanna to talk about project management tools and how I can't really seem to find one that I like until recently. So I've tried a few different ones. I've tried Trello, I've tried Asana. Some of them just seem a little bit more complex for what I need. So I went back to one thinking I would just give it another shot. It's called ClickUp. And when I went back into it, they had a brand new feature. It was a new layout view and I kind of love it. I think it makes sense in my brain. So before I was struggling with all these programs and I couldn't really find a system that I like, you know, I end up just writing a bunch of lists on random pieces of paper. That is not a good process. I understand that I need something to actually help me be organized. So I want to show you ClickUp and the brand new features that they have because if you are looking for a new project management tool, you might kind of dig this as well. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at the new feature in ClickUp and we will dive into that right now. Here's our quick look at ClickUp, uh, apparently, one app to replace them all. So you can do a lot of different things here. Tasks, docs, chat, goals, more. So there is a lot of cool features and especially if you're a freelancer and you wanna track time, you can actually track time in this as well. So it's kind of cool. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And I've got a couple of different, what they call spaces going. So I'm gonna create a new demo space just because those are some of my actual task lists and you don't need to see those. So I'm gonna create a new space. We're just gonna call this demo space. I'll hit next. And then you can actually upload a picture if you want to, to give it a, an avatar. You can choose a different color. You can choose an icon, whatever you really want. We could just go with the little pizza. I'll hit next and then I can actually share the demo space if I wanted to, or I could keep it private so that it's just me. So if I wanted to share maybe later on, I could, I'll just click that and I will hit next. So right off the bat, it's allowing me to add some custom features. So if I want to have different task statuses, I could go ahead and input those. So maybe I've got a, a to-do Maybe we have like an in progress. You can assign a color to that as well. So an in progress might be like orange. I could do another status and maybe we'll, we'll choose like waiting for next step. I'll hit the little arrow down there and then maybe red's fine with that. You get the idea. So you can kind of customize it off the bat and then you can have this closed status as complete. We'll move on to the next feature. You've got some abilities here to select if you want. You can turn all of them off. You can turn them on so we can have like priority statuses. We can do custom fields. There's that time tracking that I was just mentioning, different tags and then multiple assignees. So you can turn these on and off just by clicking them. So if you wanna do time estimates, you know, if that's something that makes sense for you, you can do that. They've got more. An incomplete warning, dependency warning, all kinds of different things, milestones. So we'll just go ahead and hit next. We can hit review our space. We've got our name, we've got our avatar, who it's shared with, different task statuses, and the apps that we're incorporating. And then we've got some default settings for the views. We're gonna go ahead and hit create space. So I'm just gonna start by adding a couple of quick tasks. So the first one that I might do, you know, as a creative freelancer, I do a lot of different things. And so the one thing that I really wanted was the ability to organize by client and the ability to sort of have a status or progress update. And I like the idea of putting in due dates because that's super helpful and any notes that I might have for each of the projects. So for an example, I might have to write a blog. We'll put write a blog for ABC, ABC being what the client might be in this case. So I'm gonna hit save. And then I might also have, you know, update website for XYZ, that might be another client of mine. And then I, you know, might have something else where I need to edit photos, you get the idea. So we've got this task list. And like, if I were to click into the task list, I can write the description of what it is. I can actually add extra to do's and subtasks. I can create a checklist if I wanted to. 
I can actually track time by starting the timer. And so as you're working on a project, if you just go and start the timer while you're using this tool and then remember to stop it when you're done, you that's a really you know easy way to track your time. So that's a pretty cool feature if you are a freelancer and you're charging by the hour or you're working at an agency and you even need to monitor the tasks and the time that you spend on them. That's a really cool feature. And so it's all pretty helpful. Uh, I'm going to close this window view and I'm going to show you the new feature that I kind of really love. So if I come up here to view, you, we're in the list view right now. We also have the ability to look at the board view and then this can organize things by things that need to be done, things that are in progress, things that are waiting for the next step, you know, and you can drag and drop these. But I'm loving the new table view. So if I click on table, I'm going to add this view. And now I can see this is basically a glorified spreadsheet. And yeah, you could probably just do this in a spreadsheet too. But I kind of love all of the extra features that are incorporated with it. If I wanted to add a little bit more complexity to this, I would come over to add a column. And so I can add different things. So maybe I have a date that I want to add and then I'm going to call this column due date. So then I would just hit add column and then I can choose like when is this due. Maybe this task is due on the 13th of April. So I can assign that if necessary. I like the ability to do a drop down that's custom. So if I want to organize this by client, I can create a column that's called client. We've got the drop down and then option one might be ABC, pretending that's the name of one of my clients. I can assign a color to them. That makes sense. So maybe we'll go with the blue. I can hit add new option because I also have XYZ client and I can also assign them a color. I can also do custom colors. So if I really just, you know, want to get maybe it's their brand color and you can identify them by that. That would be an interesting organization way. So just by looking at the color, you can associate it with somebody. And then we'll just hit add column. So then I've got the ability of this drop down to say that this is for ABC and this is for XYZ, an easy way to organize them. Let's say I had a new task and it was to edit photos for an email and I want to hit save. And let's say this was ABC as well. If I wanted to organize these, like depending on how many tasks that are in my list, I can sort them and then they can be grouped by all of the tasks for ABC and all of the ones for XYZ. So let's say I'm going to add another column of, of custom content that I think makes sense for me. I'm going to call this column priority. And then, so one of the priorities that I might have would be high priority. I could add a color to that. We'll put that there. I could add a new option. Maybe we do moderate priority. That could be a lighter orange. Maybe we could do a custom color for this and then hit save. And then let's do a low priority version. Add a color. Let's do a really light green. I'll hit save. And then maybe the other one that I have is waiting on clients. So if I'm still like waiting for feedback or I'm waiting for them to make a decision, that might be something that I put like in a gray just because I want to mark it as it's, you know, maybe it is high priority or moderate priority, but you can't do anything until you're waiting on the client. So I could add this column and then I have the ability to do the drop down and select what priority status it might be. So this is a really great way, I feel like, to visually organize things. And then if I need to make notes on one of these, I can click this little arrow and I can open the task right there and I can put notes that pertain to this particular task. I could assign it to people. I could track time again. And then I can now see the organization down here for client and the priority status that it has. So this is just a really cool tool that I think I'm digging now. Uh, the best part though, is that it is free to use all of these features. And if you needed to install browser notifications, you, apparently you could do that too. If you're curious about what any upgrades might look like, 
we can open up and navigate to the pricing page that they have. You get the forever free. So this is 100 megabytes of storage. You've got unlimited tasks, unlimited members. You can do collaboration and real-time chat. So that's pretty cool. You can do in-app video recording. There's so much you can do on the free tier. But if you needed something like unlimited storage, I'm assuming if you have a much larger team, you would probably want to start looking at paying for the upgrades, but there is so much that you can do in the free tier. I think that's why I love it because I know I've used Asana and it was like the one feature that I thought was going to be helpful I had to pay for. And I was like, well, that's just not, that's not something I'm going to do. I think I might actually have an organization system now. So that's just a very quick look at ClickUp. I think this is going to be something that I can actually use. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it too and the new feature for the table view. Just leave those in the comments below if you want to chime in. What'd you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on ClickUp and whether or not this is a tool that you might use. Or even if you have an absolute favorite project management tool that you use and can't live without, I'd love you to drop those in the comments as well. I'm always eager to discover new things. If you found the information in this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribing doesn't hurt either. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.